Uh, my name is JD, and I'm from South Auckland, uh, Papa Toy Toy. During lockdown um, and living on my own, the challenges have been the fact that you are alone. You almost feel like you're under house arrest, and the anxiety, that's what I was certainly feeling. It triggered a lot of my anxiety. And then I lost my job, and I would never have thought that in a million years that that would happen to me. And I had been with, with the same organisation about 25 years. Um, applying for jobs during lockdown uh, was helpful, but when you got rejected, it sort of made you feel a little, a little bit more unstable, if you like. It never crossed my mind that there was help out there, even during lockdown. I just didn't, I just didn't think that there was anywhere that I could go to, or anyone I could go to, um, for any help. I had only just begun before lockdown um, doing amateur photography and so I used that opportunity when I could go out to take photos. There was a social network site on Facebook that, which was called Outside My, My Bedroom Window. I didn't have the luxury of having nice scenery but I did take a photo of my neighbour's chimney <laughs> um, in the evening. I've always enjoyed baking. So that kept me sane, I have to say, during the lockdown period. Now that I'm working again, and now that I'm working in health and social services, it has really highlighted for me how vulnerable other people and families have been as a result of COVID and post-COVID. And in my role as a community connector, that's my job to help others find them the services or help support them because there are people in our communities who still need that help.